And welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome to another edition of Maryland's Cafe Society Radio right here on the YouTube channel. Today is Tuesday. Yeah, 2 22 Uh-huh. You get it? <laughs> now, listen, some, some people say that today is a day that's going to bring good luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll take it. I'll take it. Whatever it means. February 22nd, 2022, 2-22-22. Maybe we should go play the lottery or something. I don't know. <laughs> but welcome, welcome everybody to another edition of the show. I hope you're doing well. Listen, I want to sing the song, Rain, Rain, Go Away come again some other day because it's been raining practically all morning now i know i sound like i'm complaining but i'm not i'm just kind of acknowledging the fact that's it (laughs) i could very well be talking about snow but yeah we're getting rain and i guess we'll all be complaining later on this week because according to the weather forecasters arctic air is going to be moving in and they're saying at least 70 percent of americans And the lower 48 states will be experiencing what they call below freezing temperatures. And 15 million of us will see below zero temps. My goodness. Now, you know, freezing is 32 degrees. So below freezing. But that below zero weather? No, I cannot do it. I will not do it. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But right now it's a balmy 35 degrees where I'm sitting in the Midwest. (laughs) I hope you're enjoying some good weather too. Well, listen, I just wanted to pop in. It's a bit late, but that's all right. You know, I was trying to keep up with what's going on over with uh, Russia and the Ukraine. We've had some some interruptions in television programming uh, with the president popping in to to give us updates. And so, you know, um, I just wanted to be abreast of all of that. We'll talk about it in just a bit. But first, let's get to our update on the coronavirus crises. Now, John Hopkins has given us these numbers today. Uh, The number of global COVID-19 cases is just under 427 million. And we've hit about 5.9 million deaths worldwide here in the United States. 78.5 million COVID-19 cases have officially been reported and some 936.4 thousand lives lost. May they all rest in peace. Now, according to data from the New York Times, the pandemic seems to be coming under control. Yeah, all the numbers are dropping. And as of February 21st, United States hospitalizations from the virus have decreased 43% and the daily deaths have dropped 19%. So that's all good news. But the experts are saying don't get too happy too fast. Don't start declaring victory over COVID. Why not? You know, we got to have that faith. But anyway, um, here's what they're saying. Um, that, you know, we're going to be living with this virus just like we live with the flu, just like we live with the common cold. So um, it's not going to go away. In fact, there are still three states that have experienced COVID spikes over the past week as of today, February 22nd, according to information from the Washington Post. And the states are South Dakota, Pennsylvania and Connecticut. So, you know, um, if you're traveling to those areas, be on guard, all right? And we all know that mask mandates across the country have laxed, if not have, you know, been um, abolished altogether. I think, in fact, in the Chicagoland area, the city of Chicago, there was a a press conference earlier uh, where the mayor and the... uh, a, a city physician announced that their uh, mandates for wearing masks out in public are being laxed as well. There's still some some um, some requirements for masks, I believe, in public transportation and and health facilities and things of that nature. But you know, if you live in the Chicago land area, go to the website. In fact, wherever you live, go to your your city's website to get all of the latest on what's happening with these mask mandates across the country. 
you know what I say, just just be careful, everybody. You know, Michael Jackson was on to something many, many, many decades ago, right? When when he used to walk around with his mask and everybody was thinking, what is he doing? But I think that's because he traveled the world so much as particularly, you know, spent time in China. So, you know, uh, folks over there have been wearing masks for a long time for this very reason. We just never had to deal with it. And here we are now dealing with it now. Here's what's happening in China. They are now up to 168,469 cases of COVID-19. And they're saying mo- this latest uptick has been because of this Omicron, Omicron um, mix of, of COVID. And their uh, number of deaths have now risen to 4,936. That's 79 more lives reported since uh, last week. And again, uh, just, you know, kind of put an end to that record low number of COVID deaths that they they had for a long, long, many, many, many months. And that was 4,849. And so, you know, I wonder if it's because of all that's been going on over there with the Olympics, if, if that's what's causing the, the uptick tick and increase you know they've been trying to really create a bubble and control things over there but with that many people sometimes it's just a difficult thing to do but nevertheless you know uh still they're under five thousand lives lost um due to this this latest uh covet 19 virus so uh, we'll we'll just continue to stay on top of it and see what happens now. In the mean and between time, like I said, everybody, stay safe and stay protected. All right. All right. And it seems now that, you know, COVID is might just be one of the least of our concerns. As I alluded to at the opening of the show, uh, President Biden uh, has once again ha- had a quick press conference and announced more sanctions against Russia as they have definitely encroached on two separatist regions in Eastern Ukraine. And, you know, the uh, word is, it's been reported that Putin may not be very concerned about these sanctions because he has spent um, the last few years creating what they call a fortress, fortress Russia. Uh, Yeah, he's been attempting to sanction proof their economy but you know these geopolitical experts are saying that it doesn't matter what he has done and he's done you know a pretty good job of of it but they're saying that the type of sanctions that the president just ordered and some of these other uh, countries are putting into play will in fact hurt russia's economies no matter how um tight the fortress may may be um, they are going to feel the effects of this and so we'll keep watching everybody that's all we can do is is well you know we can do more than that we can pray and of course um um just you know continue to uh follow this and see uh where it goes but um um it, you know it's it's of great concern and um you know it gets serious when they start breaking into regularly scheduled programming <laughs> to uh, bring us updates on everything, so stay tuned. In the meantime, between time, investors are are said to be preparing for the worst. We hope it doesn't come to that. I I definitely don't want to uh, see any conflict, you know, Um, but it sounds like uh, Russia is really, really pushing the envelope uh, with this Ukraine situation and uh world leaders are are trying to nip it in the bud before it gets out of hand all right um and other news um good news on the business tip for home depot their sales are continuing to grow to grow in fact um, in fiscal uh, quarter four they topped 35 billion dollars and that makes sense right because people were home uh, we've all been kind of, for the most part, home in the last two years um, as we deal with the pandemic. And so people have really been, you know, s- trying to make their home their vacation 
oasis, so to speak, or, you know, you pay attention, you start seeing things that you never saw before because you were so busy living life and working and in and out of the house. Now with all the time in the house, you're noticing things that need to be done, repairs that need to be made, upgrades and all of that. And so people have been spending a lot of time online uh, at places like Home Depot and Menards and so forth. And um, investing in their properties and their homes. And so it makes absolute sense. Also, uh, uh, news from Macy's, they said that they will not be splitting off their e-commerce business. Despite the push that they're getting from these activist investors, they will not do it. So, uh, you know, um, these activist investors are are uh, a new breed of investors and they're really trying to shake things up with some of our um what you want to call it traditional businesses but um um, they're resisting and so we will we will watch it and see how um how they how things play out not only with macy's but with some other businesses as well and this all takes us to today's stock market report now listen where where i'm reporting from right now it's about 4 p.m central time and this information um is about an hour old so about you know three o'clock central time is what where these numbers were um, you know, that they fluctuate throughout the day and then we get the closing numbers at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But for right now, uh, we all know because of what's going on in Ukraine, the stock market has been affected. And so the Dow dipped uh, 1.18% to 33,607 points. The S&P 500 dropped 0.6, a negative 0.68%. Uh, to 4,314.40 points. The NASDAQ fell also a negative 41.41% to 13,945.25 points. Gold is not doing well. They fell $4.62 to 1,899.63 or I should say $1,899.63 per ounce. Oil is rising, however, which was a prediction and and President Biden talked about it during his latest press conference on the potential conflict with Ukraine, that because of the sanctions, we may see some some, um, changes in, in the price of oil and gas and so forth. And so oil, Um, It's continuing to rise Um, at three o'clock this afternoon, central time. It was up about 46 cents per barrel to $91.55 per barrel. So, you know, uh, we've already been seeing this and experiencing this, right? The, The heating bills are higher. When we go put gas in the car, it costs more. And um, I say it's going to stop. It has to stop. It has to stop. Stop. (laughs) All right. All right. Well, listen, um, these things happen. And, you know, we can really, um, I believe in the power of prayer. Anybody who's been, been following my show and following me know that I believe in the power of prayer. And, um, you know, we have to say what we want in order to, um, to effectuate change, saying and believing, and then achieving it or manifesting it. So uh, I just say that, you know, these oil prices are going to drop and, um, you know, consumers will uh, stop, will, you know, they will not continue to, to uh, put this financial stress and pressure on consumers. It has to stop. All right, let's move on to some other news. And this is uh, some entertainment news. Well, um, it's all over everybody. The festivities over the weekend for the NBA All-Star Weekend with the games and and, uh, entertainment has come and gone. And of course we experienced, I didn't catch everything. Um, My schedule just did not allow me to, but um dj khaled i caught that performance with nelly and little baby 
there's a lot of baby rappers out there with the name baby but i think this one was little baby <laughs> and then of course Ludacris and uh, mary j blige and and many others were there performing throughout the weekend however 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 <laughs> i was so happy to hear uh, i think it was saturday saturday night uh, i was on one of my social medias and i got the report that earth wind and fire was going to do the halftime show during sunday's game and so of course i tuned in yes i did and it was brief but spectacular you just have to be an earth wind and fire fan to understand <laughs> but anyway it was so good and you know i i just wish that they had dedicated more time to earth wind and fire because their shows anybody who's been to their concerts know that they can can really be fantastical and so um perhaps in the future um, they will be able to do that at one of the nba all-star um halftime games all right all right and you know another wonderful thing that they did um during all-star weekend you know in celebration of the 75 years of the nba being in existence they um, did this wonderful tribute to all of the amazing nba players you know the the guards the forwards the most the best of the best of the best they featured um and it was amazing it was amazing and so um, and it was good to see everybody, you know, the, the old schoolers and and the mid schoolers and then the new schoolers and the baby schoolers. They, they were all there and it was great. The, 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 the slam dunk contest, well, I, I, it lacked a little luster, but I am still going to give them an A for effort for just having the courage to show up, you know, <laughs> I do. All right, so if you want more details on how that weekend went, again, you can go to the NBA.com for more. And staying on basketball and another basketball great, you know, to some extent. Um, I was surprised to hear this too. Jawan Howard, you heard this story? Jawan Howard, who is now a men's basketball coach at Michigan was suspended for the remainder of the regular season after he hit a Wisconsin Badgers assistant coach. Uh, this coach's name was Joe Grappenhoft. Um, Yeah, he hit him in the head during um, a, an argument, a, a, a heated exchange that they had after, uh, I guess, Michigan lost um, Sunday afternoon. All of this happened in Madison, Wisconsin. And as a result of, of that argument and Jawan Howard hitting this assistant coach, a brawl broke out. All the teams, members from both teams rushed in and um, it was just chaos. But again, it, it happened, um, I guess, because Howard had a problem with, with um, the head coach of the Badgers um, calling a uh, timeout during the final seconds of the game, even though he was already in a large lead. And uh, this other assistant coach from Wisconsin must have said something and um, Juwan, you know, lost it. And uh, of course, you know, mayhem and basket brawl ensued. So, um, you know, no one ha heard the it audio as far as I know. I haven't really been following uh, the story. I know sometimes uh, sports radio can, you know, give more details, but um, there was no excuse, right, for putting hands on someone else. And so he's suspended. And no other sanctions have been announced for other coaches or players that got involved in this melee that took place on Sunday, but I, I really hated to hear that. All right, all right. And then um, just keeping it short for today, I just wanted to pop in and say, hey, let you know I'm doing okay. But one last thing I, I want to remind you of as we wrap up Black History Month, we're in those last few days, right? Um, join me and my friends from Martins International and the Black Heroes Matter Coalition 
as we present to you the 2022 Black History Month celebration. It's entitled The Road to DuSabo Lakeshore Drive. And of course, we're gonna to touch on um, Chicago Black mis media history as well. We have special guests lined up who will uh, speak about and honor our past and and celebrate our victories. This is all gonna take place on Saturday, February the 26th at 6 p.m. via Zoom. Now, for those who follow me, you know that I blogged about it last week, late last week. So the link is on my blog, but I'm gonna update it by Thursday of this week um, with more details and um, if, you know, the if the link changes, I'll, I'll um, post it. Otherwise, if you can't get the link, you can go to YouTube and I'll have that information posted to my blog and on my other various other social media platforms by Thursday of this week, all right? So uh, get just some black history lesson. Um, it's it's gonna be entertaining, informative and um, short and sweet. So be sure to Carve out some time um, for it on Saturday, February 26th, starting at 6 p.m. Central Time. And you can go to my um, WordPress blog for all the updated information by Thursday of this week, okay? All right, so before we head on out, let's take one more look at our word for the month of February, 2022. And it is a repeat from February, 2021, which is quiddity. Quiddity, which is the inherent nature, distinctive feature or essence of something or someone, quiddity, quiddity. And remember, if you have a business, a product, a book, a record, persona, that you want to further promote or advertise as well, this is a place that you can do it. Just send um, requesting information to producer at MarylandsCafeSociety.com and we'll get at all the details to you. Also, um, remember that website, MarylandsCafeSociety.com um, to check out what's going on with the show to get linked up with me on my other social media and for the link to the blog okay and also thanks so much for checking out this youtube channel be sure to like subscribe and share sign up for the email club as well monday with maryland's and that email to get uh, signed up to is maryland's cafe society at yahoo.com maryland's cafe society at yahoo.com all right you ready for what love is well love is do sabo lakeshore drive do sabo lakeshore drive Woo! all right everybody have a great week remember if you don't do anything else this week be sure that you live you laugh and by all means love as always it's a pleasure and a privilege and i'll see you on the next show and this coming saturday right february 26 for the black history month program peace everybody stay safe